أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سبحانك ربنا لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت إن شئت تجعل الحزن سهلا فضلك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين رب زدني علما Good morning Good morning my dear students in Shaun Marita Standard School, the first stage. Peace be upon you all. How are you today and how was your yesterday? I hope you are well. Okay, let's start today. Today we will go to finish unit number two, our last lesson in this unit, wishful thinking. Yesterday and before yesterday, we took about the form, meaning, and function. Divided into two pieces or two sections, countable and non-countable nouns. The second part, expressions of quantity, some, any, and no. We answer many exercises in your student book and also in your workbook. And yesterday we talked about the words connected to the money, shopping habits, and the prices. All these words we talked about yesterday. We got also some exercises on it in student book and in your workbook. Today, inshallah, this is our last lesson in this unit. It's a project. This project is talking about what? The project work in pairs. Can you imagine or guess what will be in this project from this uh, level? Playing with the stars, dream come true, أصبح الحلم واقعا, playing with the stars, اللعب مع النجوم, you can be a star, you can be a star, quiz show, win, super game, okay? In this project, what you will do? First, read this title. Work in pairs or in the room, search three program, TV program to give the participants and contestants large prices. Find the information on the internet. If it is possible, you can search the internet. Okay? In the newspaper, sometimes maybe you can use a newspaper also. Books. Ask people, find out about. Find out about what you will search about what. Something to see you should put into your consideration. The first one, prizes. Two, the objective of the game. Prizes, al-asar. The objective of the game, al-hadaf, min tilka. اللعبة The rules of the game قواعد أو قوانين تلك اللعبة Winners من سيفوز بها Losers والخاسرون أو غير الفائزين In this table Make notes in the chart Stable the chart Use the notes to make a PowerPoint or a poster presentation in class Okay, so you have to use this information, you will put the size chart, make some PowerPoint slides or poster presentation in your class. The main title here, TV program, largest prize, who won it, the objective of the game divided into three sections. What does a constant have to do during the game? How does it win? How does he lose? Okay, this is our project. The second part is self-reflection. As every unit, on the last page, we have self-reflection. And in this unit, things I liked about unit number two. Things that I liked about unit number two. إيش هي الأشياء التي أحببتها في تلك الوقت؟ 
things I didn't like very much. أشياء لم أحبها كثيرا. Things that I found easy. وأشياء وجدتها سهلة مرة. Things that I found difficult. أشياء وجدتها صعبة جدا. You have to write everything in on this line. Okay. Okay. Let's go to our. Uh, I have some, one video here to show you some revision about what you studied before in this unit. So, are you ready for watching? Okay, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Our presentation for meaning of function of what is this unit. The title of the unit, the presentation, the absence, attendance of the students. Lesson objectives. The objectives of this unit is the first one is to identify count noun, countable nouns, and non countable nouns. The second one, suppressing the quantity correctly. Three, use words connected with money, shopping habits, and the prices. The third one, recognizing the words connected with money and shopping. Five, practice using shopping terms. Number six, والأخيرة. And we talked about already countable and uncountable nouns, expressions of quantity, some, any, and no. Also words connected with money, shopping, habits, and price. And this is our details about the grammar. Non countable and non countable nouns, expressions of quantity, sum and any, giving examples for all rules. Can you guess the correct noun? What is this? Mm, countable or count non countable? Fox. What about this one? Rice. And the furniture. A cup. An apple. Water. Sugar. Okay? Fox. Rice. Furniture. Cup. An apple. Water. Sugar. These nouns we can classify into two categories. The first one, countable nouns, and second one, non-countable nouns. Giving examples, a cup, an orange box. All these words deal with under countable nouns. What about non-countable nouns? Like furniture. Rice, water, sugar. Okay? Countable nouns and non countable nouns. Again, the rule says the rule here says countable nouns comes with singular and plural. Cook, cooks. Using an, you can use a, a, n, s, plural. And you can use the before it, the book. But in non countable nouns, only one form. No singular, no plural, only one form. Does it use 
A and S plural? No. We cannot use these articles. Using the? Yes, we can use the with it. Okay. Some examples for non-countable nouns. Food and drink. Edge activities. Strap. With the words. Materials and substance. Collections of things. Cases. All these words coming under the title of non-countable nouns. Right? Okay. Al bread is that the uh, non countable? Non countable bread, breads, mango yeah. breads. No, non countable. Come on. That is in food and drink section. Where is it? Yes, this one. Bread, food and drink. And this is our role in our student book. We talked about it before. Not countable nouns, we think it that can count. Like so the real. The other one. This is our details in detail. Okay. Shukran, like we said yesterday, this is our workbook exercises. Uh, in this sentence, we need some stands. Some stands, plural, countable. We use some with plural countable nouns, whatever in negative or in positive. Or question also. Okay. Here quantifiers, some, any, and so that no. means it's not there, think? No, still. No. Still, the absence and the presence still. We are not calling anybody. Okay, this quantifiers like any comes in with questions and negative. Some of the affirmative, no, with affirmative, which gives negative meaning. Okay, let's see this one. If you checked it, using the internet, you will find some questions about this grammar. Our workbook. There is where there are. There is a professional sector couple. There is my. يوجد للمفرد وذير آر يوجد للجمع This items were connected with money, shopping habits and the prices If you check this link also, you will find some questions about this grammar The last part of our homework. Thank you so much for following us in unit number two. Now we have finished it. Still maybe two or three exercises in your workbook. So please open your workbook just now. We'll answer these questions immediately.
Thanks to Paul and Gals in trying my secondary schools. And now we have finished this rule. Let's go to our work book. Yeah, this one. Okay. Read the conversation below and complete with a word or phrase from the books. Buy, spend, shop online, expensive, make payments, money, habits. We already used the habits in the first exam. Second one, do you shop online? Do you shop online? Okay, second one. What about your friends where if you shop online or via computer? Make payments. وسائل الدفع. استخدم الدفع عن طريق via computer. Number four. And do you like to design a clothes? Buy a design of clothes. Five. Expensive. That aren't you too expensive? Only a third. Number six. And in general, what do you most of the money on? Spend. Don't talk. Number seven, I spend my mostly on food, my money. Okay?